It's your boy, Pat Next Door, and this is Next Door Cuts. We coming to you live with another video. Oh, how is y'all doing today? Is y'all good? Is y'all good? That's what I like to hear. Today, we doing what is my barber setup? What my barber setup looking like? You know, how much it cost me? Was it affordable? The clippers I use? Some extra junk I got in my stuff. But we gonna talk about my barber setup. You know, here's a few clips about that. Check it out. All right guys, so these lights right here, the lights I got at Walmart, they're around 13 to $15 if I'm not correct. These lights right here, I got at Home Depot for another $15. And you have to actually buy an extension cord like with these lights, you're gonna have to cut the part that plugs in to other plugins. You're gonna strip the wires. After you're done stripping the wires, you're gonna connect the, these two wires to the wires that are uh, on the lights, and you're gonna plug them in. All right, guys, this is my mirror that I use. Um, I actually picked this mirror up from Family Dollar. For 20 bucks, if you go to Home Depot or Walmart, the same mirror is probably gonna be 45 to $50. So, you know, I had to save the money on that. This actually was gold right here. But what I did is I taped all this off and I spray painted this black. So it just gave it, it, gave it a better vibe and a better look. Um, some of the stuff that I put on my mirror, just stuff to remind me to, for when I'm cutting to help myself out. Clothes halfway open. It's always good to have a technique. You know, I'm just growing on my technique right now. Uh, use corners. You never want to use the full blade whenever you're fading. You always want to use corners. You don't want to get caught up in details the whole time. You want to be able to do details after. Um, and you want to flick. You always want to be using your wrist to flick it all out. All right, guys. So these are the clippers that I use. I use the Oster Fast Feeds. I use the Walls Magic Clips, and I use the Andes T Outliners. It's always good to have more than one clipper. The reason because is each clipper does a different thing. So the Oster Fast Feeds has a smaller motor, but it cuts just the right amount of hair. It's a really quiet clipper, and it's pretty good. I just started using it. I'm trying to get used to it. Uh, the Walls is a powerful motor. It cuts off bulk. It's a really good clipper, and like I said before, it does cuts off. It cuts off. Uh, a good amount of hair and get rid of the bulk. Has a really strong motor. Right here are the Andes T outliners. I did cut it off, right, cut this thing off right here just because it helps get around the ears and the corners. Uh, these are pretty good. I'm looking in uh, to get some Slimline Pros and a whole uh, whole bunch of other liners, but these are really good for now. Um, the guards I use, these are my wall guards right here. Yo, I go from zero to three, zero, one, one and a half, two, three. Anything higher up, you need to use clipper over the comb or you need to use shear work. Um, these are my uh, magnetic guards. These actually go with the uh, Andes, but uh, they fit perfectly for the fast feeds. Uh, yeah, so same thing with those. Anything higher up, you need to use clipper over comb or you need to use shear work. Uh, I actually have an Andes shaver right here. It's really good, but you gotta be careful because you don't want to be burning or cutting clients. So they're pretty strong and pretty powerful. No complaints from me. But yeah, you just have to be careful with these. All right, guys, this is some of the products that I use, not only just for hair, but for a uh, clipper, uh, for my clippers as well. Uh, right here, this is my duster that I actually just picked up from my local beauty supply store. You actually put a club clubbins powder in there and you press this button right here. And if you uh, you wipe off the clients with it, you always want to make sure you're wiping off your clients. You don't want to have hair all over their face and all over their neck. So this is a really good investment. This right here is universal clipper oil. Um, you always want to make sure your clippers are oiled and clean because majority of barbering is making sure that your area, your hands, your clippers are clean and working to the best ability so you can make your money. Uh, so this is my clipper oil that I use. 
uh, right here is uh, Andis Cool Care. This is like, basically it helps clean the clippers. It says it's good for oil, but you don't want to use this for oil-based substitute. You always want to have oil on deck. So this is good for lubricant, cleaner, rust prevention, and all that. This is really good. Um, the top actually fell off for this, but this is the oil sheen I use. I just switch out the nozzle whenever I want to use it. But this is good. It gives a nice shine and look to the hair. Um, right here, I have some extra hold um, hairspray. It's actually not good to use extra hold hairspray, but you know, anything works. It's not good for a clipper, a gems clipper, but yeah, go ahead and get some uh, extra hold hairspray. Got some hand sanitizer right here. Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. You wanna make sure that everything is clean. Your hands are clean. Say you sneeze, cough in the middle of a cut. You can always put some uh, hand sanitizer on to make sure that everything's clean. Uh, I have a mister right here. Mister spray bottle. These are like $8. Just press it and it just keeps going. That's a good investment. Uh, alcohol. You always wanna keep alcohol on deck. You wanna make sure your clients have alcohol put on them before they leave. You don't want them walking out like a crunch bar. That's what I love. Mesley Crunch. Make sure you're putting alcohol on your clients. Um, actually, here's another light. I use one, I use this one for angles. You always want to make sure you got some good angles so you can see because lighting is key when it comes down to cutting. Especially I have a gray room, so it's kind of hard to see things already. So I always want to have an extra light and I always keep cards on deck just in case you hand them out to someone that's never been here or got referred to someone else or, you know, they can pass them out for you. Yeah. All right, guys. If y'all want to know, I grabbed this mug from Walmart. This is a Stanley hardware set. Actually, a lot of barbers use these to hold in all their gear, everything in there. Pick this mug up at Walmart for a good $75 to $80. I can't really remember, but it was a nice pickup. Has lots and lots of drawers. I believe six drawers, man. One, two, three, four, five, man, six right here, man. Um, my first drawer, just keep some brushes. I use this for hairlines. I put spritz on there or hairspray, knock the hairline down. Um, I use this brush to brush off my uh, clippers. It actually broke, but it was $2. This was like a dollar. Another $2 right here. Brush one, fade one. So whenever I uh, get done fading, you always wanna brush the hair down to see your canvas. Um, this is another duster. This is the first duster I had before I had that one. Um, just use it to dust off clients, stuff like that. Clipper over comb. You always wanna have a clipper, even when you just wanna comb out the hair. Always have a clipper on deck. Um, pick for afros or thicker hair that you want to make sure it stands up before you cut it. Um, just a razor I got from Sally's. It was pretty cheap. Nice, good price. It's done me right. It's my first razor and I actually know how to use it. So, you know, you always want to make sure you learn how to use that razor. I use Darko blades, by the way. A blade case right here. Keep all your blades in there. Um, make sure. I actually need to get a trash can so I can throw away all the blades. Keep a square thing on me just in case card transactions or right, you take cash out too. Shoot, whatever you gotta do to get money. Um, neck strips I always want to have neck strips on your clients, you don't want them itching or anything like that or complaining about their neck. Um, alcohol always keep the alcohol on deck, man. It's always good to have alcohol. This is just some uh, Club Men's uh, powder that goes into the duster. I have an extra large, I really don't use these like that, but yeah. Um, other drawer, I got cotton balls. You want to use that for alcohol as well if you need to, or anything else like that. Say you accidentally cut somebody, you never know. Um, towel, I use this to wipe off my mirror. Got some things that just come with the clippers. Um, you always want to use uh, hair clips. Hair clips are good for people that have long hair and you want to get it out the way. It doesn't matter if they have thick hair, straight hair, hair clips always come in clutch. Um, I have a headband. It's just an extra light to say you always want to get angles. Lighting is key whenever you're cutting hair. Uh, I have some grease, just, just in case you need to lay the hair down. Other uh, drawer, more combs. 
I got this for like five dollars at uh, at Kiwi Beauty Supply. I got rubber bands, more spits, screwdriver just in case you need to fix something on your clipper, um, and another charger for my shaver, and more clipper, um, more bars and stuff like that. Um, there's really nothing in here besides some plugins, but yeah, this mug was really cheap honestly and it came in clutch it comes with the charging port right here so people need to charge their phones charge it that's plugs on that mug it turns off and on right there like that comes on like that so yeah this mug was really affordable Right here is just some extra storage. Um, I keep all my capes in here, old and new. Um, this is just the regular cape that I started off with. It's a Velcro, but the Velcro wears down. So I suggest getting one that has the pins. And then I have another one that has next door cuts on it by my girlfriend, you know. So this mug was good, but the Velcro wore, wore down on that one too. And now I have a nor a, a sturdier one. It has the pins on there, so it just locks in. Yeah, I suggest getting one of them. The mugs are a must cop. Um, blow dryer, blow dry your, uh, your clients off, or you spray spritz on their hair. You put some, uh, you put some spritz on their hairline and then you dry it off. So a blow dryer is a must. I've had a lot of people say that they uh, put, have spritz put on their head, but no blow dryer. We need a blow dryer and a mirror because you always want the clients to look at themselves after. So it's always a must. And last but not least, you always want to keep something to clean off your area, sweep your floors. I actually changed out my carpet to hardwood floors just so I could be able to cut my room, make it a lot more accessible for me and everyone else. Oh yeah, so that's a must. What is up, guys? I thank y'all for watching this video, man. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. It's about 5.36 in the morning. Just got done editing this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all have any questions or want to know where to get any of the tools or items that y'all saw in this video, feel free to hit me up. Um, follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Facebook at Patrick Beck on Twitter at uh, P-W-H-T-P-A-T. You can follow me on Snapchat at P-A-T-1-2-3. If you have any questions, just let me know. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and even share. Keep your notifications on. And don't forget, man, we're trying to hit 5K. We hit 5K. I got some merch coming for you guys. So thank you guys again for watching this video, and y'all have a great day. This is Pat Next Door. And welcome to Next Door Cuts.